What comes to your mind when you think of an iconic album cover? Well, let's pretend for a second that you know nothing about either of these two albums or artists. Simply by seeing these covers, which one are you listening to first? Travis Scott's Astro World or Cappadona's Black Tarzan? How about To Pimp a Butterfly vs. Riff Raff's debut album Neon Icon? A deflated heart-shaped red balloon or Goat in Human Form by Rilo Rodriguez? A dude flipping into a mosh pit or a bunch of pregnant emojis on a white screen? Cover art is so much more than just a picture and it can honestly make or break an entire album. However, as an artist, choosing one single image to encompass your vision and fully capture the vibe of the music can be difficult. But when executed to perfection, as we're about to see, great covers not only take an album's overall experience to that next level, but in some cases they even impact entire genres for years to come. In my opinion, the saying, don't judge a book by its cover, doesn't exactly apply to music. Music and art have forever gone hand in hand. Just as a painting is an extension and reflection of its creator's influences and ideas, album covers reflect the artist's vision and tone of their music. An album's artwork is also typically the first thing we experience before actually listening to the music. Unless you hear it on the radio or when you're out somewhere, but first impressions are key in a competitive market such as the music industry. There's been numerous times where I've stumbled across a new artist and checked out their project simply off the strength of the cover art alone. However, vice versa, there's also been times I've been turned away due to a bad cover which makes you not even want to listen to the album but we'll get more into that in a second <laughs> coming out of a goat <laughs> with the chain on wow um i just i don't know what to say it's important to note that despite the recent resurgence of vinyl records, after streaming music took over, today the majority of listeners will not be physically holding an album in their hands on CDs or vinyl, but rather they'll be streaming it on a mobile device. However, by no means does this devalue the significance of a good cover. In fact, I would argue that it even increases its importance. With more music uploaded to streaming services today than ever before, developing artwork that catches the eye is crucial in gaining listeners' attention. Then, once you have their attention, along with, of course, the music itself, a Great cover art makes you not only want to keep listening to the album, but also return back to the album again, as well as maybe even share the album because you like it so much. But there's one question we need to answer first. What even makes a good album cover? A good album cover draws you into an album before you even press play. Similar to other forms of entertainment such as movies, video games, or thumbnails on YouTube, a good cover should spark interest in the consumer and make them feel like they have to stop what they're doing and tune in. As humans, when we listen to music, we need something visual to attach it to, and the best album covers act as a doorway into the artist's world. When you look at a good cover, you should already have an idea of what you're about to listen to, almost like it sets the mood and prepares us for what's to come. You see dozens of shirtless black men celebrating in front of the White House while a white judge lays motionless on the ground, you know you're about to hear some meaningful and probably provocative music. Frank Ocean crying in the shower while water drips down his face, J. Cole on a roof looking off into the distance, an adult film star with a rubber glove wearing a revealing nurse outfit, Playboy Cardi doing a flip into a mosh pit, The Weeknd smiling through the blood all over his face, 50 Cent behind bullet shattered glass. These are just a few examples of great album covers that essentially add another layer to the music and its story. It's me and my homeboys in front of the White House. It's really taking, you know, people from my neighborhood and taking them around the world and letting them see things that I've experienced. There are various different design styles artists use for cover art which has definitely evolved through the years, but it seems like many of the most effective ones are also the most simple. From memorable photographs such as Young Thug wearing a dress on the Jeffrey cover, Jay-Z chillin' puffin' a cigar, the pop star go-to self-portraits, 100 Gex standing there with her crazy tattoos, Olivia Rodrigo with stickers all over her face, and Prince in his iconic purple suit to name a few. Speaking of purple, color is also a big factor when deciding on cover art. Colors that match the vibe of the music complement those feelings the album gives us as listeners. Similar to how the best YouTube videos do, shout out to Nathan Zed, the best album covers also inspire artists for generations to come. Biggie Smalls Ready to Die in 1994 to Kodak Black's Lil Big Poc 20 years later. Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here to Metro Boomin's 2022 album. Good Kid Mad City to Family Ties. The Beatles' Abbey Road which has been replicated countless times including recently by Travis Scott. Along with Abbey Road arguably being the most iconic album cover of all time, there's also a few other covers that are so culturally established today that I know you've seen them even if you haven't listened to the music. To sum it up, a great cover enhances an album experience and takes the music 
music to another level, completing the audiovisual connection and giving listeners an image to physically associate with the project. However, at the same time, a bad album cover does the exact opposite, and often makes you not even want to listen to the music. For all the great album covers we see, there are thousands of more terrible ones. Some are so bad that they're funny, while others scream, I just downloaded Photoshop. If you really want to see bad cover art though, honestly, just look at DJ Khaled's entire discography. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And another one. Literally, he has a nine-time platinum track, and this is the cover for it. Sometimes we see artists overdo it and look mad corny. Some get lazy and just slap their name or logo on a plain background. Some are straight up disrespectful and too far. Or like Kanye West, Childish Gambino, and the Beatles have done, some simply leave the cover to your imagination, if that's what you want to call it. Then there's covers that are so ridiculous that you almost want to hear what the music even sounds like. Slam Dunking Hose by Top Dog, Doing Things by Big Bear, Trap Story by Gucci Mane, and of course Baby Go by Kevo Money to name a few. I've seen some pretty terrible uh, album covers in my day, but this is uh, this is certainly one of them. I also love the uh, the daddy goat in the background. He is he is and he, he's just excited, man. And don't tell me that fans don't care about cover art. Back in 2020, Virgil Abloh was clowned all over social media for his awful design of Pop Smoke's posthumous album, to the point where they totally scrapped it and went with something else. However, just like the music is, album covers are also subjective since they are again a form of art. Take something like Kanye West's Yeezus, for example, which Virgil helped design. A very minimalistic cover displaying a CD in its case with a piece of red tape. At first, a lot of fans hated this cover and didn't understand why he used it after having such fire artwork in the past, but after listening to the album and hearing Kanye's reasoning, people started appreciating the artwork. The whole concept for the Jesus album is that we're not going to be using CDs in the future, and since this is the last time we're going to see it, this is an open casket to a CD. Just look at the CD for the last time. Album covers often grow on fans over time, and Lil Uzi Vert's Love Is Rage 2 is another perfect example. Upon first seeing it, the cover was met with mixed reactions from fans. But now over five years later, this yet again Virgil designed cover is iconic with Uzi's brand. While it's important for the music itself to be unique, cover art can play just as big of a role in an album's identity. In today's world of growing technology with tools such as AI, along with again more music released now than ever before, it's crucial to never undervalue the importance of a good album cover.